Hello everybody, I'm going to show you a cool way to use uh, Flowwise uh, in order to be able to speak to any um, any website and when uh, we're going to be planning out this template here called the web browser you're going to be able to basically not only speak to any website you can also then kind of conceptualize and understand that you'll be able to speak to a whole lot of other tools as well after figuring out how this part works. So uh, starting out uh, real quick right from the beginning you can see in the Flowwise marketplaces uh, you will be able to find the web browser template. And the web browser template when you click on it will show you the current configuration for the web browser chain. And the web browser chain consists of a conversational agent Okay, that's going to be doing most of the talking for us. The conversational agent has an ability to then filter and, and use uh, a web browser to, to scrape information. It'll then embed this information using OpenAI embeddings and uh, uh, use chat OpenAI in a couple of different places. First of all, in summarizing the web browser content and then actually being used as the chat model here in the conversational agent. And we also have a buffer memory, which is going to allow us to keep the chat history. A more robust version of this would also include vector store uh, and, and some transformations of the data as well. But to show you how easy this is, you uh, again go from Flowwise AI uh, marketplace here and you do the web browser but to go even further i'm going to show you guys how to get flowwise running it's fairly easy i mean it's actually really easy and to demonstrate this i'm going to use render render.com which is uh, looks like a super easy uh, hosting service for a whole bunch of different type of uh, services and uh, background applications like web service, background workers, and SQL. It's, it's uh, looks like it's, it's similar to Heroku, uh, and I'll be uh, playing with this a lot more. See if it's got similar features, but uh, mainly it's a deploying web app, deploying web service, deploying app, and I'll show you how to get Flowwise and and how to get it running real quick. So. First of all, you go to the GitHub repository for Flowwise, look that up. Uh, it's Flowwise AI, Flowwise. And once we get here, what you do is you click on the fork your own copy of Flowwise AI. When you click this, you will then go through the procedure to get the, uh, to, to, to quickly get this version onto your own account. So once uh, that happens, you, uh, you will branch off from the main project and be able to put the, the code into your own playground. After the code is in your playground, that's when you go to render. When you go to render, sign up, get into uh, render, and then go to a new web service. I'm going to keep the old one here just uh, to show as an example. And what's going to happen is in the new web service, we're going to link a repository. You're going to be able to actually just link straight, use a public repository to link to render and be able to publish that repository on render. So in my case, I selected my own repository after I forked it. Uh, if uh, You can see here, I'll go to my repository, and here after forking it, I have Flowwise, all of the code necessary in order to run what I was showing you here. So from, from this side, I connected GitHub, my GitHub account to render, and it gave me an option of all of my, uh, my projects here in, in that particular repository. We then connected to Flowwise, okay, specify 
uh, unique name for the web service. We can do, uh, okay. It's gonna be a branch. Uh, we'll use main root the parse the the directory this uh, we'll just leave that as as source and uh the one thing i notice here is that the free version which you can do for free and you can play around with this but i believe it uh, has some kind of a reset every 15 minutes that's not used uh, so i signed up to the seven dollar one it is not reoccur i'm not sure exactly but it's just seven dollars and it gives me access to a bunch of ram uh, and a bunch of cool features that can basically keep these sites up and running in indefinitely. I'm going to figure out how to do this with Heroku as well because I'm already paying, I think, like $7 there. Uh, or stop paying Heroku and just use Render. <clears throat> but anyway, we're going to use the starter one. And then we're going to create the web service. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> and then the full so basically we're going to be getting a flowwise uh, uh, link here while it's doing its blah buddy blah and as you can see here on my existing one that I already ran after a whole lot of uh, you know whatnot blah 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 what you're going to see is your service is live and it's going to get a link here when you click on this link it's going to go to your Flowwise desktop. And so that's with, with this dot com address here, temporary one. So fantastic way to get, you see that a brand new set out there. Now, web browser, back to this one. What we're going to do is we're going to create basically a talk to a site template so we go to the web browser there's our template right here we're going to use that template okay and then we can start filling in all of the information we're going to need to put the open ai api key all right you should know now how to get that if not go to openai.com um, go to settings and then you'll see there's an open ai key option you're going to be specifying that key here there's uh, our chat model numbers here, versions. So if you want to get fancy and use the expensive stuff, you can do the GPT-4s. But for our test here, 3.5 will do just fine. Quite simple. So let me uh, put my API keys here. Okay, there we go. Put in my API keys. It's got a nice convenient uh, asterisk and privatization feature here already. Uh, so now we have still an untitled chat flow. What we're going to do is we're going to save this chat flow. It's going to give us save a new chat flow. So this is going to be, um, let's just call it uh, web chat. Just to be uh, clear, website chat. Okay. So we're going to save this now. And now we're going to go into the high how are you? So this is where the chat and we can actually test out this entire model. And the one thing I just realized that I have not done is added a conversational parameter because we still have to actually, we're, I mean, we, we need to talk to a site. And so what site can we talk about? Well, we can specify that here. Okay. Let's uh, use a site, for example, uh, just a sample site that the, uh, um, my friend has is uh, a rake it wholesale house flipping site and let's see what we can do here I know that there's the support site and so let's see if we can speak to the to the support site overall uh, let's see okay here we go we go back to our human message and let's see there we go so that save that we'll save the entire form and then now we can start the chat uh, what is the site about let's see uh, let's see if such a generic question actually works out for us 
I'm sorry. It's not a valid. So it's saying, no, I don't understand. Let's take a look at um, what are the features of the site. So let me see if the conversational agent is actually putting together this. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, to use for data and let's see if we need to put that into both system and human message okay let's do that uh, what are the features this site we got it Okay, so it's giving me interesting conversational outputs. Let's take a look at um, summarize uh, let's do it this way. Okay, horrible spelling. Let's check out what it does this way. Oh, interesting that I didn't expect a token. So, I'm going to have to figure out why this is happening. But what I can show you is something that I've already done, which is, let's see, talk to a site. So, talk to a site that I've already worked this. Let's see, I left that blank. And here, what I can do is I can ask it questions like, find ratekit.com let's oops okay if we do that let's see what my previous chain has has to offer okay so it's thinking it's thinking quite a bit of data there so it's putting that stuff into memory and using embeddings to turn everything on that site all that data into numbers and let's see so as you can see in my previous response I would I found rightkit.com and it gave me exactly what I needed and here we go offer software for real estate wholesale flipping the start here guide uh, they offer free calculator start here guide for market automation campaigns uh let me see Logan, tell me more about their marketing automation campaigns let's see how well this tool picks up what is happening here from the history so an announcement for the zapier integration beta programming opening fantastic news and there we go. Their marketing automation campaigns are a way to automate your marketing efforts and streamline your lead generation process. So as you can see, this is absolutely awesome. I, I love it. This, this tool is fantastic because then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the embed in website or use as API and you can create a Python, JavaScript, or a curl command on this exact, uh, this exact chain, this exact you can see here is the chain that we created here and all of this functionality can now be embedded into a widget or an app on your site and i'm pretty sure in the future flowwise is going to be able to just kind of output this uh output this into well, let's call it show input config i didn't know this feature even existed um something to take a look at this is fantastic right uh, so uh, in the future, I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to like output directly into a Python or a JavaScript uh, in the code repository. So there we go. Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions, please leave me a comment and uh, like and subscribe. I'll make uh, more of these. Uh, also, 
Uh, next videos I'm going to make is to show you how to publish this into an actual uh, web interface. So not only are we going to be using this uh, FlowWise to design our uh, our chain, I'm going to show you guys how we can take this chain and put it directly into a UI and no code UI uh, using some really, really awesome clever tools. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk soon.